Dyeing yarn with natural dyes is a very time-consuming process. The plant's minerals and cochineal must be cultivated or gathered at just the right time, and then each one has its own multi-stepped preparation to master. Synthetic chemical dyes are cheap, fast, and simple to use. For these reasons, most weavers are now using chemical dyes, and the art of traditional Zapotec dyes has almost been lost to the past. Sometimes chemical dyed weavings are represented as being made with natural dyes. It can be hard for the layman to distinguish between natural and chemical dyes, but here we can show you a few simple tests that can be performed at home. Cochineal insects are hard to grow and gather, making it one of the most expensive natural dyes, and consequently one of the most common dyes to be replaced with chemicals. To test for real cochineal, take a piece of red yarn and place it in a small, non-reactive pot, such as glass, enamel, or stainless steel. Add enough fresh lemon juice to cover the yarn, and boil it for about five minutes. If the yarn has been dyed with cochineal, it will lighten in color, whereas chemically dyed yarn will not change. The boiling lemon juice, here it is, we're rinsing in water. <laughs> so here it is. This is the. That's how you could tell it's a natural dye. Definitely a big difference. Yes, there. by the lemon juice only. The lemon juice makes it react. Another characteristic of plant dyed yarns is the residual fragrance of the plants that were used to dye them. These natural scents can range from earthy to fresh green to mossy and herbal. The moss, this comes from up, up high in the mountains, um, and this is tree moss. Plant dyes and even cochineal impart organic, natural hues. The strong glaring colors that are created in a laboratory are not found in nature. The family of Porfirio Gutierrez is dedicated to using only the natural and sustainable methods that they have inherited from their Zapotec ancestors. For more information on traditional Zapotec weaving and natural dyes, please visit www.porfiriogutierrez.com.